breaking news, my girls snore like a 75-year-old grandpa with the cold. I was tired of hearing them across the room, so I found the perfect solution. So this mouth taping craze is going viral on social media, and these gurus suggest that we should use it to stop mouth breathing. It's absolutely right to be worried about mouth breathing because we know that mouth breathing is linked to gum disease, dry mouth, bad breath, and even poor quality sleep. But did you know that mouth breathing can actually change your child's face structure and also cause behavior problems? I know it sounds dramatic, but it's true. When they breathe through the mouth habitually, this can cause their face to elongate. This in turn causes a misalignment between the upper and lower teeth. There is some evidence that children who regularly mouth breathe may have sleep apnea, which in turn leads to poor quality sleep, which leads to irritability and restlessness. So what can you do? Consciously make an effort to breathe through the nose in the day. And if you feel that your nose is always blocked, get your doctor to check you for any hidden allergies or nasal polyps. Follow me for part two of this, where we go through the how and why of mouth taping.